Thank you to the millions of Americans who use TikTok every day, bringing their creativity. And it's one of the most downloaded apps in the world, but time may be up for TikTok. We're looking at TikTok. We may be banning TikTok. President Trump later saying he'll take some sort of executive action as soon as this weekend to ban use of the viral video app in the U.S. TikTokers posting videos reacting to the possible end of an app that has up to 80 million American users. I hate Donald Trump. I see with that think, like with a passion. Second, I've been on this app since I was like born, and there's no like amount of words I can put together to say thank you. Like, Do not panic. Do not panic. VPNs exist. The White House and lawmakers have feared TikTok's Chinese roots for some time, claiming your data could end up in the hands of China's government. Would you recommend that people download that app on their phones uh, tonight, tomorrow, anytime uh, currently? Only if you want your private information in the hands of the Chinese Communist Party. While it was created by a Chinese company, the app operates outside China and isn't available on the mainland. TikTok sending this message to the Trump administration. When it comes to safety and security, we're building the safest app. We're here for the long run and continue to share your voice here and let's stand for TikTok. The administration could block the app from the American market using the powerful Committee on Foreign Investment. But if the president takes action, he'd be rejecting a potential Microsoft takeover of TikTok. The company is said to be in talks to buy the app, raising questions over whether this is a negotiating tactic by Donald Trump or he's intent on cracking down on Chinese companies. Trump's threat to shut down the platform comes as U.S.-China relations are at their lowest point, with both sides imposing tit-for-tat measures in recent weeks. But it also comes after TikTok users took credit for sabotaging a sparsely attended Trump campaign rally in Tulsa, Oklahoma. In the days leading up to the June rally, TikTokers encouraging their followers to register for the free event, then not go. The American Civil Liberties Union weighing in on Twitter, writing while we shouldn't ignore the risks that TikTok poses, banning it would be a danger to freedom of speech. For City News, I'm Karen Seolin.